Pass Through Distillation, Part 5, Sam, A Special Device. Pass Through Distillation is a separation process involving an evaporator connected to a gas absorption unit. While there are many absorption fluids capable of absorbing many different gases, we will focus for now on systems using lithium bromide brine as the absorbent and feeds for which water is the primary volatile compound. In our previous unit, we looked at the purification of brackish water using a modified absorption chiller. And we noted that a simple heat transfer circulation loop can enable the absorber to drive the evaporator with its waste heat. Conceptually, it is helpful to show the evaporator and absorber as two separate units. But since they operate at the same pressure, absorption chiller manufacturers often contain the two pieces of equipment within the same vessel, separated only by a baffle. We could borrow this idea and make an evaporator slash absorber pair with shared heat exchange coils. If the evaporator is operating at 30 C and the absorber at 70 C, the average temperature of the heat exchange fluid may be around 50 degrees C. As the fluid passes through the absorber, it gains sensible heat, reaching perhaps 53 degrees C. Then, as it passes through the evaporator, it loses sensible heat until it cools down to perhaps 47 degrees. The net result of multiple iterations is a flow of heat from absorber to evaporator. That heat causes water to boil in the evaporator. The vapors pass into the adjacent compartment where they are absorbed. This arrangement is based upon an absorption chiller, which, as a closed system, never involves gases other than water vapor. But distillation is an open system and is likely to carry in dissolved air or other non-absorbable gases with the feed liquid. If these gases were allowed to accumulate within the vessel, the absolute pressure would climb and with it the liquid temperature in the evaporator compartment. To prevent this, a vacuum pump must be added, which draws a stream of gas from the vessel downstream of the active absorption zone, where hardly any absorbable gas remains. This requires that the vapors generated in the evaporator compartment be redirected to the bottom of the absorber compartment. In a two-dimensional sketch, it is convenient to show this by means of an internal channel between parallel bulkheads. There are two modes of operation for the evaporator section. If the heat exchange coils are immersed in the liquid, the vapors generated will be in equilibrium with the bulk liquid in the compartment, a portion of which leaves as bottoms product. The other mode operates with a low liquid level, and the coils serve as coarse packing. The evaporator behaves as a stripping column, and consequently the vapors generated are in equilibrium with the feed liquid. This is a tremendous advantage in some important separations and is consequently deemed the normal operating mode, hence the name of the device, SAM, which is an acronym for Stripper Absorber Module. A SAM is shown here, however, with its bank of shared heat exchange coils and circulation pump, is unlikely to become a popular item because it turns out that there is a much better way to build a SAM. We will examine that later in our next unit entitled Heat Pipes.